Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel S Chemistry. My name is Sonal and in today's video, I'm going to share with you all my personal experience of preparing and attempting and then clearing a gate and Maharashtra state eligibility test for lectureship. So I'm going to keep this video really short and I'm going to share my honest experience with you all, how exactly I started my preparations for these exams and how I was able to uh, clear the same. So let's get started. So I qualified uh, Maharashtra State Eligibility Test. Okay, we call it as MH set. Yeah, I uh, qualified this particular exam uh, in 2019. Okay, 2019. Okay, and uh, I qualified gate in the year 2020. Yeah, so when I answered the Maharashtra set exam, I was like, my results were not yet declared. Like I was waiting for my master's results. So I passed out in the year 2019 in the month of June. Like the results were declared in the month of June and I think the exam was also somewhere in June itself and uh, that is when I had attempted it okay and with respect to GATE I didn't qualify GATE in my first attempt so in the year 2019 I gave my first attempt for GATE which obviously I didn't qualify in the next year that is 2020 I qualified GATE okay so talking about my preparations uh, I have my specialization in inorganic chemistry so for both these exams, my major focus was on inorganic chemistry. I literally did all the chapters which were there in uh, the inorganic chemistry section. Okay, so I prepared myself thoroughly with inorganic chemistry. And in terms of physical chemistry, I think I did like uh, around 75% of the syllabus uh, related to physical chemistry. I left out a few topics, uh, specifically topic like uh, thermodynamics. Okay, I didn't really prepare for thermodynamics i personally find it a bit difficult but i did prepare like solid state chemistry group theory then uh, chemical kinetics okay uh, or the gaseous state all of these topics i did from physical chemistry okay now in organic i've done thoroughly physical chemistry like i did 75 percent coming to organic uh, chemistry so i didn't quite do a lot of organic chemistry genuinely to be honest with you all i did prepare a few topics yeah i still have my uh, notes which i prepared for gate okay so i wouldn't even say that was like 75 percent of organic chemistry that was like barely 40 no not even 40 because organic chemistry is so vast i think around 25% of organic chemistry uh, that is all I prepared okay so how I did my preparations was I didn't really uh, have any coaching or you know I didn't join any course or something like that I purely prepared uh, by myself using my master's notes okay because for us in master's the first year we have all the four subjects so I studied uh, inorganic organic physical and analytical these were my four subjects and then in my second year uh, I specialized in inorganic chemistry so I used all my master's notes okay uh, in order to do my preparations along with that I also used my bachelor's notes and uh, I studied from YouTube okay so I will give credit uh, to different educators uh, who prepare students um, for these exams on YouTube you know so I used to like pick a topic uh, watch uh, first do the like study the concept on my own then watch a YouTube video related to it okay and then try to solve uh, questions okay like questions or past your papers uh, with respect to that particular subject yeah so organic I prepared very few topics uh, I did like organic spectroscopy I enjoy organic spectroscopy so I did that heterocyclic compounds some named reactions some reagents I did that's all I didn't do anything more than that honestly okay so after like uh, my concepts were done I used to revise a lot okay because that is very important that is what I feel like revising the topics is very important so that you are in touch with the topics um, every day yeah and along with that solving past year papers okay so I did the same thing for MH set and for gate as well but for gate I did put in a lot more efforts yeah so I used to like download the paper yeah and I start like print it and all because you know why to simply waste paper and your money of course so I used to download the PDF and then like solve it on a notebook okay get all the options and then download the key the answer key and assess myself okay and check uh, if there is any specific topic where I'm losing my marks like continuously okay and then grade myself and then you know uh, try to find answers to a specific question which I didn't know okay and also like uh, for gate especially because since you have negative marking uh, you need to limit yourself right right you cannot uh, go ahead and answer like most of the questions by not having any knowledge of it you have to be certain when you're attempting it uh, but for MH set that issue was not there because when I answered set like you, you don't really have negative marking so you can just 
give a chance to a question but you can't do that for uh, for Kate so yeah that's how I prepared myself for these exams yeah studying thoroughly on your own okay using references and for inorganic chemistry the best help was from two books I referred one is James C. Hui it's a green colored like green it has a green cover and Shiver and Atkins so these two books I thoroughly used for inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry I used my own notes and even for organic I used my own notes and a few YouTube videos here and there and then solving past year papers and uh, not just solving them even assessing them in such a way that you yourself know uh, which topic you struggle with right so I knew that these are the topics which are difficult for me and this is where I need to invest more time so yeah that's about it that's how I cleared uh, MS set and gate so hard work persistence uh, motivation and being dedicated and committed <laughs> to these examinations yeah so that's it uh, I hope this video is helpful to the students out there preparing for these examinations and you guys can do it just have faith in yourself because I didn't perform good at all in my first attempt for Kate and I was like traumatized you know and I, I realized that I have to work harder so no matter uh, how hard these exams are you just you just gotta prepare yourself you just have to work hard yeah and have faith in yourself okay so thank you so much for watching and uh, all the best in, in case you guys are preparing for these exams and take care of yourself uh, bye, -bye.